Hi, I'm Chris, and welcome to Sertero Wellness. You might have clicked on this video because your state just legalized some form of marijuana, medically known as cannabis. Well, good news. We are a health and wellness company with a focus on providing high-quality cannabis-based treatments, cultivated by hand and delivering the safest, most consistent natural relief. Since cannabis, otherwise known as marijuana, is slowly becoming more and more legally available, we wanted to break down all of the truths and myths that surround it. One of the things you'll hear first when researching cannabis is THC. So what is THC, you may ask? Tetrahydrocannabinol. And because tetrahydrocannabinol takes a few seconds to say, we'll just stick to THC from here on out. So what's THC look like? Well, like this. And it is one of the main compounds within the cannabis plant. It, along with a few other chemicals, are responsible for that quote, unquote, high feeling people talk about. Now most of you know you can inhale cannabis, but you can also ingest it or apply it topically. So how does it work? The human body has a system of receptors known as the endocannabinoid system that affects your memory, your mood, your hunger, and even pain. THC essentially modifies these receptors and changes the messages sent out to the body creating a variety of physical and mental responses. Now everyone has a different chemical makeup, so it's a little difficult to predict each person's specific response. But for the most part, THC will produce a calm, euphoric feeling or dreamlike sensation. THC has also been proven to ease nausea, soothe pain, and can even help treat mental conditions like anxiety or PTSD. That dreamlike sensation is the most common side effect, but you might also experience the munchies, a combination of dry mouth and hunger, along with a bit of drowsiness. And in some cases, people may also experience an increase in anxiety or paranoia. Again, it's up to your biological makeup. That's why we encourage new users to start with low doses and go slow until you know exactly how your body will react and always work with a qualified medical professional to determine the best cannabis-based treatments for you. Now, some users experience a body high rather than a mental high, so they'll feel extreme relaxation in their muscles and joints. This is how THC can help provide relief for chronic pain caused by conditions like arthritis or MS. In recent studies, researchers found that THC might be a neuroprotectant, meaning it can protect and even stimulate brain cells, which is super promising for future treatments of degenerative disorders like Alzheimer's or Parkinson's. There's one thing that's really prohibiting serious amounts of research towards THC and cannabis. Right now, the federal government classifies cannabis as a Schedule I drug, meaning it's labeled to have high potential for abuse and no known medical purpose. But as of the beginning of 2019, more than half the states have legalized medicinal cannabis, with a growing number of states allowing for recreational adult use. So opinions on cannabis are changing. It's certainly an exciting time, and we are slowly getting there. The scientific community is just beginning to discover the therapeutic benefits of both THC and cannabis. If you're still a little curious and have any interest in learning more, be sure to check out our other videos on medicinal and recreational cannabis.